It's been said that football is the front porch of a university. If that's true, get ready to head into Northwestern's attic. The university library holds a collection of Northwestern football films that's nearly unmatched by anyone in the country. But the race is on to save this rapidly deteriorating treasure. Rob Coons has the story. They capture classic Northwestern moments and wildcat legends. Otto Graham, Era Parsesian, and so many more. Thousands of old 16mm films that allow a fascinating look back into the history of Northwestern football. The football collection, film, video, recorded sound, is incredible because it's huge. It covers a broad span of time, all the way back to 1929, because it reflects Northwestern's football program in spectacular detail, a level of detail that we don't have through any other form of, of record. There aren't too many colleges in America who can boast having a collection of this size and this scope. Because the films were stored inside Ryan Field for decades, many are badly deteriorated. That's where University Archives comes in, launching an ambitious project to clean, repair, and digitize the films in order to preserve them. Film is not a form of record that's permanent. It ages, and it suffers when it ages. And we have to undertake this effort to preserve what's captured on that film. It's not going to last forever. The digitization of our films, archives, is critically important to what we've done in our past, but also what we want to do in the future. We want generations in the future to understand what's occurred at this incredible institution and what's happened from a football perspective. Last week, University Archives hosted an event where members of the 1962 Wildcats, the school's last team to be ranked number one in the nation, shared some of the newly digitized film. And they reminisced about great moments, including Paul Flatley's legendary catch of a Tommy Myers pass and a win over third-ranked Notre Dame. I was afraid that the defensive back, I was running a center pattern, that the defensive back was going to intercept it. So I actually went up to deflect the ball, you know, to try to deflect it so it wouldn't go right to the defensive back. And it stuck in my hand and I pulled it down. <laughs> Paul, uh, why don't you go uh, another step further and tell them why that ball was stuck in the hand? So I will admit that I had stick him on my hand when I went up there to try to catch this ball and pulled it down. But it was legal. <laughs> he didn't like it. And you can imagine what the ball felt like. <laughs> Sometimes you were worried it might not even leave your hand. <laughs> what I really wanted to do was to put my hands up like this on a turn pattern and just have it hit me in the chest. And just there. That would have been the catch. I think a lot of the guys, after hearing about what's happening, are really looking forward to, as you say, being able to see so many of the games that they played, uh, you know, a long time ago, and show their kids. You know, it's not like today. Uh, everything's on TV. For me to be able to show my children some of those moments, and not just to talk about it, or not just to show a newspaper clip from the Chicago Daily News from 60 years ago, but to actually see it um, has been absolutely incredible and transformational. Uh, and I know that goes far beyond just my own personal experience that goes on throughout the Northwestern family and has a, a chance to, again, resonate with all that love this great university. For more information on how you can help preserve the Northwestern football film collection, log on to the website on your screen. Coach, you heard Dr. Phillips talk about the importance of preserving these films. What's the value in football terms to you to having these films preserved? Well, I think as Jim alluded to, the tradition, you know, to see the great teams that have been here before us, to have uh, an archive and factual uh, visual that our, our fans, uh, our former players that have put on the purple and white and, and the future recruits. and you know, the, the, uh, the generations of, of Wildcats that will come after us to be able to see our rich tradition, our rich history. It's a great project, and we hope everybody can get out and uh, log on to that website and support the cause.